The deep freeze has settled over the Chicago area, and now we know it's sticking around for a while. WGN's Jenna Barnes is live along Michigan Avenue with a look at how people are coping. Jenna. Jackie and Tamon, it's a pretty empty Michigan Avenue right now, and that is a good thing because it is painfully cold out here. But earlier today, we met people out shopping, running errands. They were taking the weather in stride. If the images of a frozen Chicago River and the constant breeze through the city flags can't convince you of the cold, perhaps Rochelle can't. Freezing, incredibly freezing, bone chilling. She's visiting from New Jersey. This is not normal. This is, I've never felt this type of cold ever. It was barely above zero when we talked to her and only a few degrees warmer when we spotted this guy jogging up Michigan Avenue in a sleeveless shirt. Most people were a lot more bundled up. Hot chocolate's good, and I have double pants and double <laughs> socks, so I, I came prepared. Kelsey was part of a wave of people who wanted to capture the elements for themselves. <laughs> Everyone's saying it was record cold, so we were just being spontaneous and wanting to go explore it. And yeah, how you feel? Um, it is record cold. Yep, yeah, my body is freezing, <laughs> um, but it's fun. She and her friends lasted only about an hour sightseeing before heading home to Evanston. I went out for a run this morning out by the lake and it, you really needed to brave it. There are the people who chose to brave it and those for whom there is no choice. These photos from the Chicago Fire Department show firefighters working in the snow, helping evacuate a dozen passengers from an Orange Line train near Midway today. The department reported it was a switching incident and no one was hurt. CTA service eventually got moving, but this deep freeze is here to stay. We really wish that the cold air ends so we can come out again. And these temperatures are in the dangerous territory. So if it's possible, stay home. That's the best bet. If you can't, make sure when you go out, you dress in layers and wearing a mask helps keep your face warm. We're live downtown. Jenna Barnes, WGN News.